is Cameron Miller. I am 25 years old and I am from California. I'm currently a student here at Fengjiao University located in Taichung, Taiwan. And I am a student in the program, uh, the Bachelors of International Business Administration. Why did you want to study abroad? I chose to study abroad for a number of reasons. And one of the reasons was is, um, ever since I was a little kid, my, my father was going to China a lot, working for a company and eventually started his own import business. And uh, my, my whole family is very international. I've had a brother live in India, I've had my other brother live in uh, Korea and Japan and all over the world. So ever since I was young, I had this desire to travel and learn more about cultures and study abroad. And uh, yeah, that's why I wanted to gain that international experiences and come study here. Could you tell us the main reasons for choosing Taiwan as your study destination? Yeah, I, I chose Taiwan because um, back in 2006, I served a mission for my church, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And I came here and I learned Chinese and I met a lot of Taiwanese people, specifically in Taichung. So one of the reasons I chose Taiwan is because I know how friendly and how nice the people are. And I definitely wanted to continue with my Mandarin Chinese learning ability and keep growing that. So that's, that's why I chose Taiwan, the people and the language. Why did you choose Fengjiao University? I chose Fengjiao University because when I lived in Taiwan before on my mission, I became very familiar with Taichung and I really love this area. And more specifically, Fengjiao has the BIBA program, or Bachelor of International Business Administration. And the whole program is taught in English, and that's something that I definitely had interest in, and it's exactly what I wanted to study, so I chose Fengjia particularly for that reason. math I really don't like math. 然后，风家其实BIBA的老师，他们都有很多外国的经验，所以这样从他们可以学习到很多的事情。他们愿意帮助你，你觉得风风家蛮OK？Which okay. main differences are there between your home country and Taiwan as regards being a student? In regards to being a student, I'd say the biggest difference is um, Taiwanese students are very good at math, whereas a lot of us foreigners kind of struggle uh, to perform at their level. On the other hand, uh, students from foreign countries are more likely to participate in class and answer questions and, and ask questions when they don't know, whereas Taiwanese students kind of shy away from that. Um, another difference is Taiwan teachers are usually pretty relaxed about being late and tardiness. And so a lot of students come in late here, and uh, which, which can be annoying, but sometimes it's nice. If I'm running late, I know I'm not going to be in trouble because, uh, you know, teachers won't, won't yell at me or anything. In your opinion, what's the most important outcome as an international student in Taiwan? As an international ex as an international student, I think one of the most important things is to just gain experience uh, learning how to cope with international cultures. Uh, of course, when you go to a country that speaks a different language than you, you're going to have culture shock and you're going to have some language barriers. So one of the main things uh, in coming to study abroad is you already learn how to deal with these things and uh, you're already used to it. You can adapt faster. Is there any personal experience as a foreign student in Taiwan you would highlight? A personal experience that I would highlight? Yeah, there's a, there's a few. One of, I, I think one of my favorite stories that really reflects how nice uh, Taiwanese people are, especially towards foreigners, is uh, my wife and I were lost one time after we went singing at a karaoke place. And we could not find the train station. It was night, it was late, not a lot of people were outside. And we saw a guy on a motorcycle and just asked him, you know, hey, where's the train station? And he tried to give us directions, but we weren't familiar with the place. We were completely lost. It was pretty frustrating. And he said, oh, just follow me. And so we start kind of jogging to try to keep up with this scooter. And he said, no, 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 just walk. I'll drive slow. 
So he literally drove slow for about 15 minutes just so that we could walk and follow him all the way to the train station. He took us all the way there. Really, really nice guy. What would you tell students from the U.S. before they move to Taiwan? Oh, there's a few things I would tell students from the U.S. Uh, before they come to Taiwan, they should know that everything that you need, you can buy here. That's one of the biggest mistakes I made is, you know, I didn't really know what to expect. I didn't know if I needed to bring my own towel or shampoo or dental floss, things like that. But um, really, there's, there's not a lot that you can't buy here. Of course, there's your favorite beverage, like Dr. Pepper is hard to come by, or maybe some your favorite shampoo brand or your favorite food ingredient are difficult to find, but other than that, all the necessities are already here. So if you bring money, you're fine. Uh, 对我来讲好听